Good afternoon, my name is Jeremiah with Affordable Mobility Solutions. Today I'm shooting a video for our 2014 Toyota CNL. This is a rear entry, brawn ability, wheelchair accessible conversion, and I can operate this conversion. Make sure I got the door unlocked here, that would help. There we go. It's got your wheelchair ramp back here to, to deploy this. We slide this lever here and pull this out at the same time, so let me set the phone down. All right, so on the Braun list, one of the nice things is they do take two hands to operate, but you can walk it back slowly. It's got this extra flap on it, makes the ramp a little bit longer. It lowers the, lowers the pitch coming in, so it's not, not quite as steep. 32 inch wide ramp, 800 pound weight capacity. That 32 is two inches wider than the side entry. So if you want a bigger chair or chairs, this might be the answer for you. Now, if someone parks next to you in a side entry van, you cannot get out of the van. Not the case with the rear entry. The rear entry have more ground clearance to get over rougher terrain, and they're more affordable to convert, therefore more affordable for you to purchase. A few of the reasons I prefer the rear over the side, but depending on what you're looking for, the sides have a lot of great options as well, and we do sell those. So let us know how we can help. Got about 55 inches of headroom coming inside the van, then about 57 once you're inside the van. You've got eight tie down points, so you can get up to two wheelchairs at a time in here, or a gurney or a stretcher. And that's why that deep cut's handy. Extra room for that gurney. Got 25 inches of room between the seats here. So you can get most chairs will get up in between those so you can get two in here pretty easy. You got your spare tire, got your upgraded Q-string tie downs with your seat belt there. Nice clean van. Interior's very clean. You can see up on the dash, there's no cracks or holes in the dash. Got your dual climate control, your rear air. Plenty of plugs for your electronics. Got your cup holders up here. So when you got everybody secure, come back out. Just simply reverse the process. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we will just lift here. Fold it in, super simple to do. Low cost to maintain. Get the trunk a slam and you're ready to roll. It's got tinted windows in the rear alloy wheels. We put brand new, four brand new Yokohama tires on this. So we, we didn't skimp, we put a nice name brand, trusted tire, four brand new Yokohamas on here. As I do a walk around the van, it's pretty dang clean. I do want to show you something. This, uh, I'll show you the Carfax. This van spent its life in Georgia, and I think just was sitting out in the sun. See this white film on here, okay? I think it's just, just got, the sun got to this paint a little bit. So it's all, pretty much all over the van, okay? If I get real close, you can see what I'm talking about, all right? If I pull away, if I didn't tell you about it, you probably wouldn't even notice it. But it's all around the van. We've tried to buff it. It's, really not going to come out if you do want to uh remove it all we're gonna to have to paint the entire van we, we can do that but it's going to come on your dime on a 10 year old vehicle i don't think that's an issue i think it looks, still looks very nice again i think you probably wouldn't even notice it if i didn't tell you but i hope you know in my videos i'm trying to be honest and fair as i possibly can i'm not I'm not trying to pull any punches if i see it i want you to see it so that's my policy as i, as I continue to walk around the van it's pretty dang clean the body's in good shape i'm looking for a little little scuff right there, a little touch up paint. So it's not perfect, but it's a nice van. And one thing I always do, I show you a video of the VIN number. And why I do this, I want to, I had a guy the other day, called me, he said someone was selling one of my vans on Facebook Marketplace for $8,200. Well, that van was a $45,000 van. The guy even produced a fake title for it. Yeah, you can do that with technology these days. He was trying to scam somebody. So you tell that guy, hey, I want you to make a video of that VIN number. He won't be able to do it because he doesn't have the van because he's a scammer. Make sure you get a video of that VIN number. And if it seems like it's too good to be true, I bet you it sure is. Another thing we do with that VIN number, a Carfax on every one of our vehicles, you can see just one owner, no accidents or damage. Last owned in a, as a personal vehicle, nice salt, rust free Georgia. As we scroll down, Carfax shows no salvage, junk, rebuilt, fire, flood, hail, or lemon brands on the title, and they show no total loss. So this is not one of the super risky salvage or rebuilt titles. This is one owner, clean title, no accidents. Carfax shows no structural damage, airbags have never deployed, odometer is accurate, no accidents or damage, and no open recalls. And as we scroll down here, you can see the vehicle again. Spin its life in Georgia. So no matter who you do, do business with, look them up online, find out their reputation, find this on eBay. 1,469 transactions. Every single one of those transactions left us positive feedback. That's 100%. I would say that qualifies for a good reputation. And no matter who you do business with, find them on Google. Why you do that is to make sure they are a real company. Make sure you're not getting scammed. Check out our 4.8 out of 5 stars out of 290 reviews. 
I talk to people all the time, like the story I just shared with you. They bought from a, a private individual off Facebook or Craigslist, somebody that they found. They end up buying a complete lemon, uh, get taken advantage of for their life savings, a uh, van they can't get a title for, I mean, even a stolen vehicle. So, you know, if you're going to do uh, business with private individuals, you better know what you're doing. Or they end up buying from one of these dealerships with one and two and three star reviews up here. They didn't take five minutes to review who they were buying from. And they end up with van with frame damage, flood damage, can't get a title for it, major mechanical issues, you name it. I've heard it all. So if you want one and two and three star vans, you deal with all the people I just mentioned. If you want five star vans with five star service from somebody that's been doing this for a dozen years, I look forward to speaking with you. All right, back to the van. We got the keyless entry with one fob and one key. If you want us to get additional made on your dime, we can sure do so. As I get inside the van, this interior, this van's been kept in a time capsule. Looks like a brand new interior, dang near. And I am a non-smoker. I can smell smoke from a mile away. No signs of any smoke or unusual odors in this van. Very clean inside and out with the exception of those, those little spots on the paint. Now, as I hop in to start up the van, you can see it fires right up. Oh, let me go show you something on the Carfax. One thing I forgot to show you on the Carfax, I'm very skeptical in buying a 2014 uh, vehicle that says it has 9,000 miles on it. But as you can see on the Carfax, the miles have been documented by the Motor Vehicle Department, uh, by Toyota of Scion, 4,111 miles in 2016. Uh, Toyota of Scion also documented 7,268. Um, heavy truck sales, another company documented 9,080. And the most recently documented by Hyundai, 98 11 on the miles what I do is I, I would go through the Carfax I want to make sure the miles add up I want to make sure people have been documenting them Four, four separate organizations have documented the miles on this van that tells me they're accurate so I am buying from your perspective I'm the owner of this company this is my money I'm not just some guy sitting at a desk buying for a big company that doesn't really care what happens I care what happens I want to buy vehicles that I can prove this is the history of this vehicle these miles are accurate so I just wanted to show that to you uh, before I got back into the van Okay, when I go to start the van up, see it fires right up. All the dummy lights work, and they all go out. There's no check engine lights on, no airbags. 9,856 miles documented by Carfax. You know, this van's been driven. Yeah, radio works fine. This van's been driven regularly, just not a whole lot of miles. So, it's darn near a brand new van as far as the miles are concerned. Uh, I've got three mechanics that work for me. We've checked all the power mirrors and windows. I'm going to show you those moving up and down. We checked the power locks, the heat, air, cruise, belts, hoses, suspension, brakes. Uh, obviously the tires because they're brand new. To replace fluids is necessary. My point is, I hope you can tell by my videos, we are very thorough in everything we do. I don't just run these through the car wash and throw them on a lot, a lot like a lot of people do. They go for a, through a very thorough inspection before they hit my lot. Underneath the hood, it's got the 3.5 V6 engine. It idles smoothly. No signs of any damage, no signs of any leaks. It sounds great. As I crawl underneath the van, much of the same. No signs of any bent metal from an accident. No signs of any leaks, any kind of fluid leaks. No signs of any water damage, like from being in a flood or rust from being up north. And that's the number one mistake people make when they buy used vehicles. They assume things. They assume just because it looks good in pictures, they assume because it only has 9,000 miles on it, they assume it runs and drives good. They assume it's never been in a bad accident or a flood. And that's the number one mistake you can make. So what I want you to do, uh, I want you to go check out my competition. I don't care if it's an individual. I don't care if it's a, de a dealer. But what I want you to ask yourself, do they show me their reputation online so I know the other end of the person on the other end of the phone so I'm buying from a reputable person? Do they show me a Carfax report so I know I'm buying a vehicle that's got a clean title no major accidents, no floods, nothing like that. Do they get out on their hands and knees and even bother taking pictures, much less detailed videos of the undercarriage? So I can see I'm buying a van that doesn't have a bent frame. So I can see I'm buying a van that's never been in a flood. So when it comes to not only price, uh, when it comes to reputation, but when it goes to how thorough they are and showing you the exact van uh, that's going to show up at your house or that you're coming to see, please, I beg you, compare me to the competition. And you, don't, you know what ends up happening if you end up buying a van that's got frame damage, whether it's from an accident or a flood damage, or you buy a van that you can't get a title for, you just bought a van you can't even drive. So do four things before you buy from anybody. Demand a detailed video like this. Not some lazy 30 second walk around. Tell them to get out there and put their heart and soul into it like I do every single one of my videos. Second, demand a Carfax report. Not some cheap knockoff. Carfax costs me a lot of money, thousands of dollars every month 
but I do it because I want to know what I'm buying and more importantly, I want you to know what you are getting. Third, get online, find out who you're buying from. We went over this a little bit. Lazy buyers get scammed. Don't be a lazy buyer. Find out who's the other, on the other end of that phone. Look up their reputation. Find out who they are and then finally demand a warranty. Our van comes with a 90 day, 3,000 mile, drivetrain plus warranty. Go to any shop in the country. Do not risk buying as is, demand that warranty. We stand behind our product, we make sure every single one comes with a warranty, make sure you get one. So let's get her out for a test drive. Okay, the final portion of the video, I always like to get the vans out on the highway and give them some gas so you can hear the engine run, feel the transmission shift through all the gears, and you know whether you take advantage of our free shipping in the lower 48 states, or if you come in and drive this Sienna home, we've done our due diligence, we've made sure that it's roadworthy, See if I can pop up to about 70 miles an hour here. There we go. 70 miles an hour. Good acceleration. Uh, cruise control set. Cruise works good. Steering wheel's nice and straight. Runs and drives dang near like a brand new van. Very clean. I uh, do keep in mind we do offer a 90-day complimentary warranty, but we do have long-term warranties uh, that go out multiple years that protect uh, multi, you know, even more coverage on the vehicle. So talk to me about how you can affordably protect your investment long-term. Also keep in mind, we don't have any hidden fees. A lot of these dealers, they show a real nice price online, what they have hidden in the fine print or they don't even tell you about until it's time to close the deal. $500 administrative fee, they got dog fees, they got tag fees, they got freight, you name it, they got a fee for it. You know what they don't have? Free shipping. So by the time you add up all their hidden fees and by the time you add up the shipping, that real nice price you saw online jumps three or four thousand dollars. Not such a nice price anymore, is it? So be sure to ask, ask about the shipping and hidden fees before you buy or sit back, relax. Let me take care of all that for you at no additional charge to you. My question to you, if someone's not telling you the real price of a vehicle, if they got a bunch of hidden fees on the back end so they can try and make more money out of you, what else are they hiding from you? Is it a salvage title? Is it flood damage? Is it mechanical issues? You know, I don't know, I can't speak for them. But what I do know is the most important thing in any business, but especially the used car business, is transparency. And that's exactly why I'm out here making this video. So if someone's not being honest from the get-go, if they're not being transparent about all their fees, there's a really good chance there's other things they're hiding from you. So be aware of that when you're out shopping. Nice hard brake, no grinding, no squeaking, no unusual brake noise or vibrations. So again, exactly what we're looking for. And if you'd like to give us a phone call, 316-262-VANS. That's 316-262-8267. Now, if texting is easier for you, here's my cell phone, 316 518 43 Seven, seven. My name is Jeremiah. I am the owner. You now have my cell phone number. I challenge you to ask the competition if they are dedicated enough to customer service to give you the owner's cell phone number. Or do you get to call in and talk to an automated system, end up in somebody's voicemail and never get a call back? Or maybe you do get that live person, that super aggressive, pushy, used car salesman who's going to call you five times a day to ask if you're ready to make a deal. So if you're like me, sick of being treated like just a number by all these companies out there and you definitely want to avoid that super pushy used car salesman, give me a call. I'll walk you through start to finish and I promise you I'm going to sell this Toyota whether you buy it or not. Absolutely zero pressure sales here. On a vehicle this age, um, financing is going to be a little tougher because it's a little older, but we can always give it a shot. Uh, and see, see what we can do to help. So we can help you with financing, send an application to your phone or email address. Or and if, you don't, if computers aren't your thing, pick up the phone, give us a call. We're happy to take an application over the phone. And yes, we do take trade-ins, whether standard or mobility vehicle. Call me, I can explain how that works. And if you made it to the end of our video, thank you for hanging in there. I know it's a long video, but it's a lot of information. It's a major purchase, and I want to be as thorough as I possibly can. Hey, give us a thumbs up on uh, YouTube. It would help us out. We'd appreciate that. If you'd like to be the first to see all of our upcoming videos, give us a follow on YouTube. You'll be the first one to see those. And if you'd like to see our entire inventory with detailed videos just like this, free shipping, free Carfax reports, dozens of pictures, and no hidden fees, so you know exactly what you're getting from the most thorough mobility dealership in the country, check out our website 24 hours a day at www.mobility316.com. That's mobility316.com. And if you ever do want to come in, please 
make sure you make that appointment with us. I know your time is valuable. I don't want to miss you. We're not sitting around all day with nothing to do waiting for customers to come in, but we will make time. So make sure you make that appointment with me, okay? And as always, thank you so much for checking out Mobility 316, home of affordable mobility solutions where mobility is affordable. Call us today.